Tea time with Trav. In the jail call, Tori literally, he was saying that he was wrong for what he did. Megan will never talk to him again. He shouldn't have did it. He would not have done it if he wasn't drunk. And he also said that she's not going to get any backlash from that incident. He will. What else could he have been talking about? What's going on, y'all? It's AHF and I'm bam, 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 bam. I'm, I'm back again, y'all. And we got some cheesesteaks. We have cheesesteaks. Chicken and steak. All right. Let me say grace and I'm jumping right on up in here. Father God, I come today to ask you watch over this food. Please don't be nourishing me into my body. Please don't digest this food properly. You're in my prayer. Amen, amen, one more time. Amen. I don't know which one I want to start with. Do I want to start with a chicken one or a steak one? And these fries are for decoration. I'm a dibble and dabble in them, but they for decoration. Uh, what's this? I think this one is chicken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, that might be my thumbnail. I don't know yet. We're going to see. No, I need some ranch. Y'all, I forgot to order um extra ranch. Y'all know I like my my cheese steaks with uh with ranch. Ranch, 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 ranch. Why did I put that right there just to pick it right back up? That wasn't smart. Get y'all a bite. Mm -hmm. Real hot. My food is on me. I think I'm forgetting something. I forgot to get something. I don't know. Who knows? How y'all day going though? Mine is going well. So I'm filming this, uh, you know, a few days before it's actually going to come out. I'm filming this on a Friday. But y'all know that um, I don't drop on Saturdays. So this video is going to come out on Sunday. So, I'm excited. Because New Year's about to start. But because I'm filming this, I mean, because it's going to drop on a Sunday, which is the new year, I want to start by saying Happy New Year to everybody. I hope this year brings y'all nothing but joy, prosperity, peace, financial gain, Financial freedom, good sex. Um, have a lot of sex for me. And any woman that is watching this right now, I hope you have a baby. I wish the babies on all of you. All of you. Especially my sister and Jamie. I'm looking baby on y'all. Because I'm tired of not having babies. What's your little? I should have some wings. I need a cheese taking one come off. But.
I don't know why I didn't. I ain't even gonna try to make an excuse. Tea time with Trav. Y'all know I'm about to go in. I am about to go in. So now that the Tory Lanez trial is over, we're finally able to see and hear the evidence that the jurors heard during the Tory Lanez trial. And when I tell you it is, it's like music to my ears. Honestly, I can't wait till his sentencing. I can't wait. I really can't wait. They have released videos of Megan in the hospital, a ring camera where you can hear the shots go off and it really was five shots. Kelsey's original statement to the police back in September where she told everything and she literally accused Tori of doing it. They also released Tori's jail call when he called Kelsey after the shooting. And I think I want to talk about the jail call first. I got you. In the jail call, Tori literally kept apologizing to Kelsey. And he was saying that he was wrong for what he did. Megan will never talk to him again. He shouldn't have did it. He would not have done it if he wasn't drunk. And he also said that she's not going to get any backlash from that incident. He will. What else could he have been talking about? Because you still have his fans, of course, the weirdos, that are like, oh, no, he never admitted guilt. You can admit to being guilty without straight up saying, I'm guilty. There are so many ways to do it. And ultimately, I don't understand why people are still trying to argue this. None of us was picked for jury duty. Okay? So if y'all don't agree with the verdict, guess what? Too bad, so sad. He in jail. And he gonna stay there. Hopefully they give him all 22 years. Hopefully they deport him back to Canada. Because one of my bigger issues was the fact that on the jail call with Kelsey, Tory sounded really concerned about Megan's well-being. Just for him to get out and to troll her, to taunt her, to, to mimic her. <coughs> to literally allow the public to make the victim the villain. And if that's not narcissism at its finest, I don't know what is. I really don't know what is. Like... He just kept bringing up how is she, where is she, da da da. But where I say Kelsey was wrong, first off, she was wrong for taking a call from somebody that just shot at y'all. That's first off. But secondly, if he had just shot this girl and beat you up, why would you be telling him your exact location? In my mind, I would think he might not be in his right state of mind. He's not in his right state of mind. So me telling him exactly where we are and there's no telling how many other phone calls that he's allowed to make, I would be paranoid thinking he may be sending somebody to us because he asked her multiple times, where are y'all? What is the name of the hospital? Even after she told him, he then asked again as if he wanted confirmation. And I would have been like, hello. We're not in the ocean, but something smells a little fishy. I don't know if that's my paranoia, but um, I think it was really stupid. It was really stupid and it was really careless. And then let's go to the witnesses because their stuff leaked too. Well, we didn't leak, it got released.
So, the ring camera of one of the residents in the area, it came from inside their house. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to see exactly what was going on. But, you know, they tried to paint this picture as if Kelsey shot the gun, her and Tori were fighting over the gun, and it accidentally went off. Now, that has clearly been debunked, because if y'all watch this video, you will hear the shots. Pow, 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 literally, literally in that rhythm. There was no way that was accidental. Now, I watch enough crime shows, and clearly the jury knew what they were doing. They knew how to do their job when they listened to the evidence, watched the evidence, all of that. Those sounds were too consecutive for it to be like an accident. Definitely. And then the um, gun expert, or I forgot his exact title, he spoke out. And now he said that in regards to the type of weapon that was used to harm Megan, there's no way that that could have gone off by accident. They said the gun that Tory used had to have, you had to have applied eight pounds of pressure to shoot that gun. There's no way that a four foot 11 girl and they say Tory 5'7", I highly doubt that. I, I think he's like 5'4", whatever. There's no way that those two fighting over a gun could have accidentally pulled that trigger five times. And clearly the jury doesn't think so either. That's why he's guilty. That's why he's in jail. But people are still trying to find ways to argue this. And it, it baffles me, y'all, how much people did not pay attention in school. I will continue to say that because the trial is over. So, of course, all the evidence that they had is being released to the public. This was a public trial that is all public information. And I'm seeing so many comments on social media where people are like, Oh, how ironic that it's coming out now. They're just trying to make us believe that they chose the right verdict. And I'm just literally reading the comments like. What? Now, I know I, I didn't major in criminal justice or anything like that. But we all had to take some type of course where we had to learn about basic laws. And anybody in their right mind will know all evidence that they have will not be released prior to the trial ending. Why would they do that? That makes no sense. Literally, whenever trials are over, that's when the majority of the evidence come out. Will we get bits and pieces prior to the trial being over? Absolutely. But their big stuff that is going to nail the coffin shut they're going to keep private because that's how they're going to win the case. It really just baffles me how uneducated people are. People were saying, oh, Megan's team leaked this. No, they didn't. Like, I know y'all may think that it's funny. I know y'all like drama, but come on. At some point, we got to cut it. We got to cut it. The lie is entertaining to y'all because y'all can get a kick out of it. It can make y'all believe whatever y'all want to believe. But come on. The facts are the facts. Nobody on Megan's team leaked that information. The police let it out because that's what they're supposed to do. The public want to know. And that that is also something that baffles me. People wanted to know how did they come up with this verdict? They released the information showing y'all why the jury chose what they chose. And then y'all still don't want to believe it. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like people be wanting their narratives to be the facts so bad that they would ignore any other fact that they provided. Completely ignore it. And it's just, it's dumb. It's completely dumb. Like very dumb. I wonder how this would taste with barbecue sauce. That's me. It was so dumb. Oh. Oh, good barbecue sauce. Oh, I'm going to put it over here. Woo. 
But then let's go to one of the neighbors in the area. They also released her 911 call. Now, she, you could tell that this lady, like stuff like this doesn't happen in the area that it was in. Because the lady was shook. She was shook. She really didn't know what was going on or like who was behind everything that was going on. So when the 911 dispatcher asked her like, what is your address? We need somewhere to go to. She was like, please do not come to my house. Please do not come to my house. And she didn't want to give them an address because she didn't want to be put into the mix at all. So she ultimately gave them a cross street um, that was close to where they were. And she was like, I don't know who these people are. I don't know if these are homeless people arguing or whatever. But what I hear is, and that's when she proceeded to say that there is a woman that is clearly being attacked. <clears throat> and she said, I heard, she said, there are fireworks going off in this neighborhood right now. But I heard gunshots and I know what gunshots sound like. Those are exact words. And the dispatcher said, how many gunshots did you hear? She said five. So this is multiple people saying that there were five rounds, but yet people still don't want to believe that Megan was ever shot. They're going to come up with any excuse to say that she wasn't shot. Which, of course, is baffling to me as well because that's already been a proven fact that she was. And she also said that this lady... Because she said she heard a woman's voice. She said she heard her scream after the first couple of shots. She said it's clear that she's in some type of domestic um, situation. Because right after she heard her scream like she was in pain. She heard a man's voice. And he yelled something. She don't know what he said. But she said she heard a man after her. So once again, y'all still gonna blame that on Kelsey though. Y'all still gonna blame that on Kelsey. She heard a woman in pain, clearly Megan. Then she heard a man right after the shots, yelling at the person. One plus one equal two, which shows me how they got this verdict. But the way y'all trying to add stuff up is like 1 plus 1 plus 29 plus 0 plus 8. And y'all are making it equal 1,000. Y'all are really making no sense. And it's actually sad to watch. To see that y'all want this girl to be like... I, I don't know. I really don't know what y'all want at this point. I don't know what y'all want. At first, y'all wanted, wanted the truth. The truth came out. Y'all not okay with that. Now y'all want an appeal. He's not going to get that for a long time. So y'all can let that go. Y'all wanted evidence. Y'all wanted... Like, they give y'all the evidence. Y'all don't want to believe that. Y'all wanted a verdict. Y'all not happy with the verdict. Y'all want... Like, what do y'all want? What do y'all want? Y'all wanted Kelsey to speak so bad. She spoke in the original interview, which also led to his conviction. And then she got on the stand and told y'all what y'all wanted to hear because she went back on her word and, and lied clearly. So hopefully she go to jail next. And y'all wasn't satisfied with that. I'm so confused. Then y'all said when Tori decided not to take the stand, everybody was like, yeah, that's right. He shouldn't take the stand. There's not enough evidence against him. It's going to be a mistrial anyway. Now y'all looking stupid. Y'all didn't want him to take the stand. He didn't take it. Now look at him. He was going to go to jail anyway. But... Now look at them. And now everybody want to be social media lawyers. Hang it up. Most of the people that I've been seeing talk about the law, this and law, that. First off, they're wrong. Secondly, y'all probably got traffic tickets that y'all didn't pay. Y'all probably got warrants off y'all arrest. Y'all license probably suspended. Y'all probably drive around with no insurance. So how you worried about somebody else's case when you finna catch one yourself? Now let me open up my barbecue sauce. La la la, la 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 la. And I do also want to say this, and I say this from the bottom of my heart. Um, all you Tories Lane supporter, please go ahead and make sure that y'all find out his information. Maybe you can write him a letter. Maybe you can send him some photos. Maybe you could put some money on his books because he's gonna need some ramen noodles. 
He's going to need it. Show him that you support him. Not by arguing on the internet about something that you're clearly wrong about. Support him by sending him some top-notch ramen. Maybe the shrimp flavor. Maybe chicken. Maybe beef. I don't know. He's going to need something. Let him go buy some honey buns. Give him an idea on the song to write. Because he's going to be an amazing choir director in the prison. They need those. At least he'll have a job while he's in prison. He'll be able to, you know, conduct the choir. He'll be able to tell people to sing the oohs and the ahs. Because he's going to be there for quite some time. He could put, put together a nice little talent show. Because guess what? That leprechaun will not see the other end of the rainbow or his pot of gold for at least 10 years. I am praying. Honestly, I'm going to get the max and I'm going to get the port. I'm not going to lie. But as long as you get at least 10, 15 years, I'll settle for that. And I just want to reiterate this again and make this plain and clear. For two and a half years, Tori literally antagonized this woman, let people turn the victim into the villain. He taunted her. He made fun of her. He let all of his friends poke fun at her and turn their backs on her, knowing good goddamn well he was wrong all along. Make that make sense. And Tory wasn't this big artist. I want to remind y'all, he was not this big artist. Was he known? Probably. I know him. Honestly, until around that time, I didn't know who he was. Um, I know that he started making like quarantine radio or something like that when everybody's on in the pandemic, but Tory's claim to fame was this shooting. He got bigger after he shot this lady because nobody wanted to believe that he really shot her for two and a half years. He lied about that. Like, yeah, are y'all missing something? Cause am, am, am I missing something? Like, y'all really, and of course, if this don't apply, just let it fly. But I'm speaking to the general public. The general public literally despises women so much that they made this man a superstar because they didn't want to believe that he actually shot this woman. The general public hates women so much that y'all were so concerned about Hillary Clinton's emails that y'all put Donald Trump jackass ass in office. Y'all hate women that much. Y'all want to take away power from women that much that y'all let this shooter become a star. Y'all let that jackass become a president. Because y'all hate women that much. Hmm. Hmm. And once again, shout out to the jury. Y'all did y'all job. Y'all had all the evidence that we didn't have. Y'all made the best decision that y'all could. Y'all made the smart decision. Y'all made y'all decision based off of facts. I'm proud of you. Protect all of those jurors at all costs. Every last one of them. All five of the men, all seven of the women. Period. I'm going to end the video like this. I genuinely hope that Megan Thee Stallion has the best 2023. Like, I hope she has the best year ever in her life. I know a couple years ago, you know, she her song went number one. She was everywhere. She got Grammys. I want more. I want so much more for her. I know she's about to win this case against her label. She already won round one. So I feel like she's going to be signed to Rock Nation after this. And I know after everything she's been through, this next album is going to be insane. I pray for nothing but the best for that lady. 
healing, peace, comfort, love, real friends, and abundance of money. I just want, like, I probably want, no, I ain't going to say that. I was going to say I probably want a better year for her not more for myself, but I ain't, ain't going to say that. That's going too far. But I just hope she have, like, literally one of the best years that she can ever imagine. Because after these last two years, she deserved it. She deserved every bit of happiness. The only thing I don't want for her is a baby. I want a baby. I want an album first. I want another album first before she had a baby. I know she all in love. They probably will get married, but I need her to put out your album first, girl. I need some new music. Um, but yeah, that was it. If you are a Tory Lane supporter, unsubscribe from my channel right now. Thank you. I don't want your views. I don't want your comments. I don't want your likes. I don't want your dislikes. I don't even want your opinion at this point. Save it. Unsubscribe. Block me. Or put down below in the comments that you are a Tory Lane supporter or say free Tory. So I'll go ahead and block you myself. I'll save us both the trouble. Anywho. Y'all want to know what to do? Check the description box below for the website. www.airdrop.com Thank you to Airsoft, Airbrush, Airdrop, all that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, right there. Right there. So you can notify these next time I drop a new video. But if you don't, if you want to check next with Airdrop, Jump back to the description box, scroll down to the bottom, boom, right down on there, you're going to see me on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, be on, Abby, follow me, let me come to Instagram, let me listen, let me come do whatever, let me just like, we don't like, but the one to see was dumb, 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 the one to